Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about the solution to problem F, money trees, a problem that was given uh, the code for this round 898 division 4 around that recently took place and I had the chance to participate at. So basically in this problem we are given again an array and again a value k just like in problem E. And this time around we are also given another array where we also know aside from the number of fruits we have in the tree we also know for each tree the height uh, it has and our goal is to find a contiguous subarray such that uh, the sum of the values from the subarray is at most k and we want the subarray to be as long as possible and basically in order to go by solving this problem you need to be uh, careful about the fact that uh, the subarrays we can choose can be as long as n. And for this reason we can't really do a brute force approach, or at least that's how it seems at the first glance. However, we can observe that uh, the only relation we really care about is whether the current value is divisible by the next value or not. And this gives us an idea basically what we can really do is to start by pre-computing for each position how many positions we can go to the right until we can no longer have this relation respected for example the way that this would go for one of the arrays from this sample 44241 would be to start computing from right to left and basically the answers would be uh, the answer for position I would be how many positions we can go to the right including the current position so that this property is respected so for the last position it's obviously going to be 1 then 4 is a multiple of 1 so we can use this 2 is no longer a multiple of 4 so we need to start back from 1 and 4 will work with 2 and also 4 works with itself so basically after this step we now came up with uh, this array which tells us for each position how much we can go to the right. Now what to do next? We also have these sums that come into play and basically what can we do with them is that we can just uh, create a prefix sum array. So if the original, uh, if the original array is this one, uh, well actually it's like this with 4, 1 instead of 1, 4. Uh, the prefix sum array is three. Uh, sorry, is three, five, nine, ten, eighteen. So we also have the prefix sum array, and now what we can do for each position in order to make our approach as simple as possible. At least this is what I did in the contest. There are other approaches too, such as two pointers or just going uh, after each uh, range manually. What I did was basically to rely on the values I pre-computed here in order to run a binary search over how much we can go to the right such that we don't leave the range and also we can not get the sum to be greater than uh, what we really need it to be, greater than k. And this is basically what I did in the solution as basically I computed here the prefix sums I also computed this array where I found out how much we can I can go to the right using the property in the statement and then for each starting position I just uh, binary searched where I can go so that uh, I can uh, still respect the property and since in the problem I was required to find uh, the longest uh, subarray I just uh, added as the answer exactly this information and then I just did the maximum over all of these possibilities allowing me to find the answer uh, fast enough as well as allowing me to get a solution that uh, worked uh, and was, uh, in, was implemented in a few minutes. So again a, a rather quick uh, uh, solution once you realize the main idea that we can just compute some prefix and suffix uh, stuff in order to ease up the process of solving the problem. 
If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe the video. It helps me now, especially since I'm coming back. And you can also check the links in the description for access to my server, as well as if you're interested in tutoring, you can also contact me directly. Until the next time, good luck with practicing and I hope you will come back for more of my videos. See you soon.